lot of baseball was from that game, but to see that Mundo kind of run off like that is, is a scary thing that happens. So I'm going to start with that one. You have an update on how he's doing? Right off the get go. Um, yeah, so Sosa, um, thankfully, it looks like no fracture. Yeah, it was scary looking for sure. Um, and the initial response to the x ray is no fracture in three to five days. And uh, so that's encouraging news. Hopefully, it continues to be encouraging. He heals fast and gets back in there. From a, from a baseball perspective, the spot for half there in the fourth, both in terms of him being able to get out of that jam and also sort of in the way kids goes out for a visit and they work through it together. What, was, what did that show you from that spot and then the success they had to work through that to give your offense a chance to get out in front? Today? Yeah, big moment. You know, we had a 2 nothing league. Goal to get the stakes is 2 nothing league. Um, I'm sure we'll get to that in a minute. Congratulations to him and O'Neill on 30, but um, that's a heck of an accomplishment. Um, but, yeah, you know, he's – Pitched well, threw the ball well through three. Got in some trouble there in the in the fourth. Um, kids went out and they had a plan. You could see they were, you know, in control of what they were looking to do and, and how they were looking to attack it. And, and um, those are two huge outs um, to get out of that base loaded one out jam in the fourth. Mike Breeds, Illinois Radio. Mike, I think we all understand the game to game focus you guys have to have, but. Is there any level that it's, it's it's hard not to get caught up in the win streak at all? Is there is there some level where, where, where the focus does kind of go there in some ways? We're just playing baseball. You know, we're just going out and everybody's looking to do what they can to win the moment. And a um, bunch of guys bought in, playing well, ready for their moment and ready to compete and execute. So that's um, effectively what the what we're doing. Derek Gold, St. Louis Post-Dispatch. Mike, you mentioned the 30 home runs. To, to have three guys with that many, considering the questions that were asked so often in the first half of the offense, how do you feel about kind of the process now? No, it's a great question. We alluded to it early before the game, how um, you know we made incremental improvements with our offense collectively through the lineup. But it's uh, that's a heck of an accomplishment. Have three guys, I mean, there's a reason – when we're doing what we're doing. There's a lot of reasons actually, but that's a you know those three are big ones. And um, have three guys. I believe it's only the second time in franchise history to have three guys with 30 homers on the same club. Um, pretty impressive. And and uh, congratulations to, to Goldie and O'Neill. You know they've uh, you know been good players for us for a while now. But that's a that's a nice accomplishment and clearly a, a, a you know a tremendous presence with those the, that trio right in the heart of it. So um, you know it's a big part of our club. I do. I do. I think that's a reasonable observation. I think they, um, you know, listen. You know, there's nowhere to go. I mean, Evan, Eddie's been great setting the table, and and um, you know, those guys are those guys are eating. You know, they're eating. So, um, and they're all dangerous guys. So, yeah, I think they feed off each other. I want to ask one quick question about Sosa. One yeah. Sosa that you answered earlier. Where did it hit him on his hand? Is it his wrist or kind of in the meat of the palm? Um, yeah, I haven't got the actual. He's got it wrapped up, and I just got the fracture and caught up on a few things and got to you, fine gentlemen. So, um, but yeah, I'll get you more specifics on where it hit him here through Tuna. Okay. 